So this question is a diagram question. Again, I say, I call questions that uh, provide visual input diagram questions, no matter what type of visual input it may be. So more specifically here, we have histograms, we have data set P and data set Q. So let's see what they're asking us to find here. So the question says, the histograms shown summarize two data sets, P and Q. Which of the following statements best compares the ranges, okay, and standard deviations of the two data sets? All right, so let's, I'm going to pay attention to what, how, what I can see about these two things before I look at the answer choices. So one, what is a range? A range is the difference in the high value to the lowest value. So high, high minus low. That's our range, right? So data set P has a range. Data set Q has a range. Standard deviation on this test, I want you to think about it from a standpoint of variation. And variation from the mean, right? So that just means how far away do we have data points? Like how far from the mean or from the average do we see data points? A variation from the mean. So now when we look at data set P, what is our range? So if our highest value here is somewhere between 30 and 34, and our lowest value here is somewhere between 0 and 4, that means I can't figure out the exact range. But when I compare my, I compare that to the lowest value for data set Q, which is really between 5 and 9, and the highest value for data set Q, which is between 25 and 29, I can visually see that the range for data set P Right? So in terms of range, data set P's range is greater than Q, right? Just because I have values at these lower ends that I don't even have values at for data set Q. So hopefully that makes sense. I have a higher high. Data set P has a higher high than data set Q and has a lower low than data set Q. Therefore, the high value minus the low value must be greater for data set P. Now, with regard to variation, we can see that data set P is all spread out, right? Because it has, so it's kind of similar to range in that way. All the data points are spread out. No um, bar here seems all that much higher than the others, whereas data set Q is a little bit closer together, right? So if our average, which I would imagine is somewhere in this area here, most of our data points are not that far away from that average versus if this is our average here for data set P, we do have quite a few values right out here that's you know pretty far away from the average and a decent amount of values out here that are also pretty far away from the average. So in terms of the standard deviation, I'm going to say that P is also greater than Q. So now let's just see which answer choice matches that. So choice A, data set P has a greater range, yes, and a greater standard deviation, yes, I like choice A, right? Really, there's no need to look at the other answers because there's nothing else that could be better than that. So choice A, for me, is the best answer. 